Today I'm going to show you how to input this non-symmetrical junction into Site3D. So you can see on one side of this junction it is narrower than the other. This side is much wider as you can see. So we need to widen the channel line across this junction mouth here. So let's turn on the actual design. We already have the two rows just junctioned together with a standard junction. Now what I want to do is I want to change the position of this channel line to widen it out to match this new width going forwards. So we're going to go and we're going to use the channel and footway tools, select the channel we want to work on, which is this uh, main channel here on the main road here. And now we need to use a widen uh, tool to widen it from approximately somewhere in this junction over here to somewhere over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it to the uh, approximate width here, the approximate new offset. And I'm going to click on the uh, pick button for the end offset here and use my snaps to get the correct offset. So you can see we're now getting the 3.75 because this line was not inside the junction. I couldn't snap on it on over here. So I've just taken the width going uh, forwards on the uh, other side of this widen. But the actual widen is happening across the inside of this junction here. We need to make sure that any uh, widen that we do is within the actual junction mouth here. So we need to make sure that when we curve these two points out here that the fillets will actually stay within the junction. So what I'll do is when we can type in our first radius we say well something like a 25 meter curve on that one you can see it then smooths that one out and we'll do somewhat similar on this one. If I do a 25 meter on this one it's too large you can see it goes beyond here and you can see what's happened if it goes beyond it and this, this junction will not be filleting onto a point here it'll be filleting back here which means it will not match. So if we drop this down to a something like a 15 meter radius you can see that curve is now within the junction mouth and we can click OK and hit apply. And there you go, we have a non-symmetrical junction where the uh, main road channel widens across the mouth of that junction. Thank you.